What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk a little bit about the future of the Call of Duty franchise and what's going to be happening this year for Call of Duty 2019. We have a lot of stuff to talk about and discuss, and personally, I'm very excited for the future because to be quite honest, like... I do not know what direction this series is going to be heading towards and a lot of people are saying that COD just isn't going to be lasting that much longer, especially with the rise of games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, and a few other video games. So let's talk about this and see what Activision themselves have to say. So to kind of give a little context, Activision holds conference calls with their shareholders just to kind of give a little insight on what the company has plans for and sometimes maybe even bring in some new investors to the company. And on February the 12th, Activision held a conference which talked about the future for the franchise. And first up here, they were asked if COD would ever become free to play. And the Activision COO kind of gave like a answer, but not really an answer. He kind of dodged the question exactly. And he says that they're at a unique place in the industry to deliver on changing models. But then he also says they have free to play mobile games. So we're talking about like, you know, every year on console, will those Call of Duty games become free to play, not the mobile COD games. And so, yeah, like I said, that, that kind of is like a little dodge to the question. It's not really what the it's not really the answer we're looking for here. And so, yeah, I, I don't ever think COD will become free to play. Maybe like the Battle Royale mode will be like possibly free to play one day but call of duty itself will never become free to play like activision makes too much money off that plus um, microtransactions so um, i don't ever see that happening at all period and then they also talk about call of duty 2019 and this was pretty huge of them to say and they said that the new call of duty game the team is building right now is what the team believes to be one of the best cods ever built but I mean, like, they, they kind of do exaggerate that every single year. And like I said, they are trying to bring in new investors here. So they are going to say stuff like that. But then at the same time, like, I'm very excited for the new COD. I, I hope it's Modern Warfare 4. I, I'm pretty sure it is going to be Modern Warfare 4. And, you know, they have a lot of models to build off of. They have Black Ops 4 and then the, the Blackout Battle Royale mode if they come out with a Battle Royale mode, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they will. And then they also said that in the 10 years he's seen Call of Duty develop, this is the Activision Blizzard CEO, he said that in the 10 years that he's seen COD develop, he's never seen this much excitement amongst the studios for a new COD game. So they are very excited for the next COD game, um, but hopefully, you know, it actually lasts for a, a really long period of time. For Black Ops 4, it's a good game but the game kind of has died out within like four months or so and i feel partially that's because of the lack of content plus of the new games on the rise such as apex legends like that's another game that just simply came out of nowhere and took a lot of fans away from playing call of duty and a lot of video games in general but call of duty mainly being being the number one game so um, I don't know. It, it's just very interesting to see the future of, of COD and what's going to be happening. I really don't think COD is on the verge of like, you know, dying. Like, you know, Activision and the de developers make so much money off the game itself and microtransactions. The series definitely is not going anywhere. Has it lost a few of its active player base? Absolutely. But COD is not a game that's just going to completely be out of the picture and discussion every year from here on out. Maybe in the next decade or so, but as of now, no, that, that's just not going to happen. Has Activision and the devs made some bad decisions recently? 100% but they've also made some really good decisions. So we're gonna have to see what happens. Infinity Ward is in a very good place right now. And then Activision also said that they have high expectations for this year's game and they are extremely excited for it and what it represents. And the quote they gave is that the game is rooted in the franchise history, but then they state that unit sales may be lower than Black Ops 4. That's a little bit concerning because, you know, you promote your game, your next game so much, but then you say, oh, the sales may be a bit lower than the previous game. Like I said, that's concerning a little bit, but 
Um, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. I'm pretty sure after that quote though that the game is gonna be Modern Warfare 4 like a lot of fans really want that game and it's kind of a deeply rooted series or franchise the Modern Warfare series in COD history so uh, I'm fairly certain that it is gonna be Modern Warfare 4 and then they also confirmed that COD 2019 will have a campaign a huge multiplayer world and co-op experiences so maybe that could be like extinction 2.0 who knows uh, or maybe even infinite warfare zombies that could be a possibility too or maybe just something totally different um i'm very excited for cod 2019 there's a lot of stuff to look forward to guys and i just really hope that whatever game they make is is complete like black ops 4 has a lot of missing stuff World War II had a lot of missing stuff. Infinite Warfare had a lot of missing stuff. Like, this trend cannot be happening. Like, that's what's going to make you lose fans more and more every single year. Um, so, hopefully, Modern Warfare 4 is complete when the game comes out. And hopefully, everything is going to be working. Like, that. that's pretty sad to say, though. Like, you know, you have to hope that the game is working right out, right out of the box and, and that the game has all of its featured modes. If the devs and higher-ups want to re-energize the series, now is the time to captivate us. Make Blackout Battle Royale free to play. Heck, even expand upon that and redesign the map with some of the locations from the Modern Warfare series. Add in some of the Modern Warfare weapons like the ACR, the Intervention, the UMP, the Vector, the Model 1887, and maybe even tease the fans, get us excited for the next game by adding easter eggs within the Blackout map about COD 2019. Add Ghost, Soap, all those characters in, in the Blackout universe. The series has so much potential still to take over the gaming scene, but the execution has got to be flawless. No more, no more missing content, no more months without adding new in-game content, and definitely don't fuck over your fans with a season pass or Black Ops pass with little to no incentives at all. You've got to make the moves now, Activision and developers. You have to make the move now. A lot of exciting stuff is coming up, guys. I got another video talking about the future of COD Esports coming this week as well. And Black Ops 4 is set to have a new update next week. COD is not dead, no. But the right moves has got to be made at the right time. And the time is now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.